Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, January 31st, 2014. This week, making tape look realistic in Photoshop Elements. One way to make digital tape look more realistic is to add shadows that make it look, well, taped down. In just a few steps, your digital tape can appear pressed into the item below it. Katie Pertit has a great tutorial on her blog for creating this effect in the full version of Photoshop. It's called In the Studio Adding Depth at katiepertit.typepad.com. This is the workaround for Photoshop Elements. Choose a piece of digital tape and an embellishment that you want to tape to the page. This can be a frame or a slide mount, a journaler, a photo, whatever you'd like. For the tutorial, I'm using a frame. Open both images in your software. Get the Move tool and drag the tape on top of the frame. In the Layers panel, the tape layer should be one position above the frame layer. If you can't see the Layers panel, select Window Layers. Select the tape layer. Then click the Create a New Layer icon in the Layers panel. This will create a new transparent layer above your tape layer. If you wish, you can double click the layer and change the name to something more descriptive like Tape Shadow. Control click or on a Mac system command click the thumbnail of the frame layer here in the Layers panel. This will make a selection in the shape of the frame. Click your Tape Shadow layer in the Layers panel to select it, and then choose Edit Fill Selection from the menu bar. From the Fill Dialog Contents box, choose Black. Set the Blending Mode to Normal and Opacity to 100%. Untick the Preserve Transparency box at the bottom of the Fill Dialog, and then click OK. Now you'll have a black shape on top of the tape in the frame. Press Ctrl D or on a Mac system Command D to remove the selection. Select the Tape Shadow layer again and choose Layer, Layer Style, Style Settings. Tick the bevel box and move the slider slightly to the right. I'm going to move it to about 10 pixels. For the direction tip the up box and click OK. Now that black shadow layer you've created has a bevel on it. Change the blending mode of the tape shadow layer to screen. First you'll need to select the tape shadow layer and then choose screen from the blending mode box at the top left corner of the layers panel. At this point you'll see the tape taking on the shape of the frame but you'll also notice that there's a bevel on the frame itself. To apply the shadows to just the tape, you're going to control click or on a Mac system command click the thumbnail of the tape in the tape layer in the layers panel. This puts a selection around the tape. From the menu bar, choose select inverse or simply press control shift I or on a Mac system command shift I on your keyboard. Now this selects the inverse, so this has selected everything except the tape. Select the Tape Shadow layer and choose Edit Delete from the menu bar. This deletes the portion of the bevel that is outside of the tape, so you've just applied the bevel to the tape itself. Finally, you're going to want to tweak the opacity of the shadow layer to give it a more realistic effect. You'll find the Opacity slider at the top right corner of your Layers panel. So select the Tape Shadow layer, move up to the Opacity slider, and move it to the left until you get a more realistic look. And if you decide that you want to change the amount of the bevel, just double click on the FX on the Tape Shadow layer, and you can increase or decrease the size of the bevel, and click OK. Adding this little shadowy dimension gives your tape a little bit of realism, making it look like it's really attached to your page. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip.